in and I'm going to start a new series to tackle another issue that I have with my reef tank and start chiseling away at these problems one by one. I mentioned in another video where I bought a Senai reef monitor to check the par levels in my aquarium and was pretty surprised when I found out exactly how, how low my par readings were. Since then I, I've adjusted the height of my light over the top of the tank and I've changed the power settings uh, on the on the max spec razor and brought those up and I, I've increased them slowly ever since then a, a, a percent or two every couple two or three days just nice and gradually and slowly and now I, I want to check again and see exactly where my where my readings are I don't know if you guys can see this but I've got my I've got my laptop here um, the Par meter will plug right into my laptop, and it'll bring up the bring up the uh, window so that I can see my readings. So let's take a look. All right, guys. So I've launched the window so that I can check my readings. I'm about to start doing that. Clicked on the light meter tab, so. My lights, I'm um, currently running at a, the max setting is 70% on the white channel, 72% on the blue channel, and it stays at max power for four hours. It ramps, ramps up slowly, stays at those settings for four hours, then ramps back down, and it's currently at the max power setting. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what some of the readings are. First off, right, right above the screen, outside of the water, on top of the screen net I'm getting about 500 and it's gonna drop you know as we hit the water but the closer I get to the light of course you know I'm, I'm about halfway to the light now I'm at 1200 so let's open up the aquarium and get in inside we'll start in the middle so in the middle of the tank directly under the LED and on top of my rock work, even though I'm still just that I've been bumping it up, I'm still at 160, about 160 par right there at the top of my rock work. So I'm going to want to bring that. That's still going to. I'm still going. I've still got room to go to adjust that up. Down here on my sand bed, about 100 and about 100 and. 47, 150 par. So it's really not a big jump from from the top. Yeah, about a, about 160 right there at the top of the rock where it gets kind of bouncing around. I'm holding my light, hold my meter straight up and down, holding it pretty still. It's bouncing anywhere from 160 to 170, and then down here on the sand bed, about 140, 150. Kind of jumping around on me, so I'm still going to want to bring those on up. Uh, if I move out here to the outside edge, directly under the outer the outer light, I'm about 130 at the at the top of the rock level here. If I go over the top of these zoes, so anthids that I've got, they're kind of away from the light. They're actually kind of underneath the over the return. The return and it's about about 80. So I've got a I've got quite a bit of adjustment left to do over the top of these acans here. Right at 100, 110. And then if I come clear out here to the edge of my aquarium on the rock, which I'm kind of blocking that with my hand, I better try something different. Clear over here the edge of the rock. See I'm about about 40, 40 par so I'm gonna be able to it looks to me like I'll probably nearly be able to max the light out and I probably actually could raise it uh, raise it back up a little like if I reach my max and I'm, and I'm a little too bright here on the surface I may actually raise the light another inch or two and then spread it out a little bit 
So I'm really glad that I bought this power meter. Like I said, the aquarium looked like it was just completely full of light. Like I, I felt like I was giving it plenty of light, but in reality, it, it, it wasn't, it wasn't getting enough light at all. Yeah, right there on the top of the rock work, like I said, it's around 160. So I'm going to continue to raise this. I'm going to continue to raise the, uh, raise the power settings and keep bringing it up. And I'll, I'll do another video and let you guys see, uh, see what I end up with, what results I end up with. But I'm going to get out of the aquarium for now and I'm going to give you a look at the inside since my nitrates have been so low, uh, things are starting to straighten up. So let's take a look at the inside of the aquarium. All right, guys. So here's a look inside the tank. As you can see, I've still got a little bit of, little bit of cyano. Uh, the bryprosis is really starting to, starting to, tame down. I mean, I, I've got it. It's still everywhere, but it, compared to where it was, it's really starting to thin out. So I think I'm headed the right direction with that. Picked up a couple uh, pieces to. To try out a little Fabia. This thing was bleached out in another guy's tank, but it actually does have polyp extension and it just wasn't getting any light, so I'm going to try to see if I can bring it back. If not, no biggie. But uh, yeah, so there's a look in the tank. It's still not real pretty, but compared to where it was, it's it's a lot better. So the bio pellets are still churning very, very slowly. Skimmer's still skimming. So nitrates are actually sitting at a 0.25 or a 0.5 right now. They're they were actually at zero. Uh, of course, I mean there's some in there. Otherwise, I wouldn't have any algae. But but it's really starting to reduce, get reduced. Anyway, thanks for watching.